Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And today's topic for discussion is water loss study needs to be conducted in the aqueous based drug products package into a semi permeable container. So why water loss for such kind of products? Because this product is packaged into a semi permeable container. Now what is meant by semi permeable container? So these are the container which can allow the passage of a solvents such as water isn't it and that is called as a semi permeable container they are not the impermeable containers impermeable are the containers which are not allowing passage of any solute i mean any matter in any of its state not in the gaseous state not in the liquid state and obviously not into the solid state also but the semi permeable container can allow the passage of the uh, solvent especially the aqueous or the water so in such a aqueous based drug product the maximum content is the water and there is a chance of loss of the water now just imagine if someone is using the ophthalmic product in such a product the concentration of water is very important to maintain its performance characteristics like osmolarity ph solubility and if the water get lost probably the osmolarity of the ophthalmic product may get changed and it may not be suitable for the use so the water loss study has to be conducted if you look at the guideline published by ICH which is Q1AR2 talks about a stability study in new drug substances and products there you will find the requirement of a water loss study for the aqueous burst drug products packaged in a semi permeable container so this is a statement water loss study is carried out to demonstrate that the aqueous based drug products stored in the semi permeable containers can withstand low relative humidity now why low, low relative humidity is critical in case of water loss because the rate of water loss will be more at the lower relative humidity see the rate of water loss is always dependent on to the concentration gradient so more is the difference in the concentration of the water the faster will be the rate and less is the difference in the water concentration slower will be the rate i am just comparing the concentration of water inside the product and outside the products container so the lower relative humidity is going to be the situation when the rate of water loss will be high and that's where the trouble is now so how one can prove that my drug products is withstand it you know uh, is able to withstand at the lower humidity with respect to its water loss and hence the water loss study has to be conducted at the lower humidity and if you look at the storage conditions mentioned by ICH WHO SCN you will find that the percent RH is very low like long term 25 percent sorry 25 degrees celsius and 40 percent rh or 30 degrees celsius and 35 percent rh now this is the condition where there will be more amount of water loss possible now how one can conduct the water loss study in case if someone do not have 25 degrees celsius and 40 percent rh stability chamber or uh, in case if you need to conduct accelerated condition you need to have the chamber of 40 degrees celsius and 25 percent rh now these are the conditions which are not much common isn't it and because of that there may be a non-availability of the chamber chamber may not be available and hence the guidance also said about alternative storage conditions so you need you do not worry about in case we do not have the exact storage conditions but the very important point is when I talk about you need not to worry about the exact relative, humi relative humidity conditions but you must think about the equal temperatures. That means if you want to conduct the long term testing at 25 degrees Celsius and 40% RH 
and let us assume you do not have the 25 degree celsius and 40 percent irs temp uh, chamber but you must have a chamber of 25 degree celsius and any another relative humidities for example 25 degree celsius and 60 percent irs you can use that chamber and by using that chamber you will be able to use one calculation factor and you will understand the water loss study so first let us understand you know why this what are these alternative storage conditions possible for example and you can have the different alternative rh also in case if you have the 60 percent rh chamber available and your reference rh means actual rh required is how much now 25 percent rh just think about a long term condition 25 degree celsius and 40 percent rh and you have 25 degree celsius and 60 percent rh stability chamber so in that case this first row will be applicable and you have to use this 1.9 as a multiplication factor now how this factor comes into an existence now this is the calculation formula the ratio of water loss rates at a given temperature at 25 degree celsius is 100 minus reference rh value so how much is the reference rh value it is 25 percent rh which is really required divided by hundreds minus alternative rh value which is 60 percent rh so if you substitute the values for this you will find that 1.9 is the factor so how this has to be done now so you conduct the water loss study at 2560 and you want to understand the water loss at the 25 and 40 percent rh you have to multiply that result by 1.9 same is the case if you want to conduct the accelerated water loss study you have to use the 40 degree celsius and 25 percent rh but you have the a chamber of 40 degree celsius and 75 percent rh look at the last row in this case your alternative rh becomes 75 percent and reference rh becomes 25 percent and your ratio of water loss rate at given 40 degree celsius temperature would be 3 now just substitute the values into this calculation formula 100 minus reference rh divided by 100 minus alternative rh let me explain this with the help of a simple example and we will take example of this 75 percent rh you conducted the water loss study by using a stability chamber with the 40 degree celsius and 75 percent rh but what is your reference rh your reference rh means exact rh required is 25 percent rh and with this row you understand that the, the multiplication factor is 3.0 so if your water loss study at 75 percent rh is 1.2 percent maybe at three months six months at the same time interval, the water loss study at 25% RH will be 1.2 into 3, that is 3.6%. Now, you must also understand one very important uh, concept over here. The water loss at the lower relative humidity is always going to be high. See, look at here. 75% RH has the 1.2% water loss, but the 25% RH has got 3.6% water loss. So that is the important point and why the guidance says that the water loss study has to be conducted at low relative humidity because that is the condition where there will be more amount of water loss. And water loss is very important for which kind of products? The aqueous based product packaged into a semi-permeable container packaged into a semi-permeable container for those products water loss study is required if the product is aqueous based but if it is packaged into an impermeable container do you need to conduct water loss study absolutely no because impermeable containers will not allow the water loss i hope you understand this water loss concept and why it is important and required thank you so much